Oh, hey, Gemini. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today, we're about to delve into the next 48 hours, what to expect, followed by a brief uh, delve into your finances, okay? So remember that this could play out past, present, and future. Take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you, okay? Any and everything that has to do with my self-order channel will be down below in the description box. Also, I do want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support of any kind to the brand as well as the channel is greatly appreciated. Gemini, I'm getting a real nonchalant energy off of you. It's like shit. It, but what I'm hearing is damn if I do, damn if I don't. I feel like you have some type of frustration here with people really seeing your efforts. You know, I feel like your efforts don't go unnoticed, but you really feel like that. Smash that like button if that's you. And I feel like you're starting to get frustrated from that. I really feel like you are being misunderstood. In the next 48 hours, you want to take some type of leap of faith. And you are announcing that. I feel like you're about to pursue someone with the devil card here. Wow. These are two major arcana, Gemini. I feel like you're obsessing over taking um, a new leap of faith into the unknown. With Queen of, Queen of Pentacles? You want to know that. I'm, I can't help it. I'm hearing that Frozen song. Into the unknown. <laughs> Don't judge me, Gemini. But that's what I'm hearing. Like, you about to go into the unknown. Because it's like, it's like you tired of everyday shit. Okay? You're tired of a repetition here as well. Okay? Um, you want to make sure that you're receiving stability, though. All right, with the nine of wands here, you like I've been through a lot, and and I just I feel like this is past energy right here, okay? Because you're coming in in a masculine energy. I feel like the fool card is a masculine, okay? I'm getting masculine energy off of you. Now know that you don't have to be a male or a female in either energies. Take it how it resonates. We all have masculine and energy, masculine and feminine energies within us, right? So. The masculine energy, why I say you're in a masculine energy, because you're performing an action, okay? You're about to take a leap of faith, but you're obsessing over that. In a feminine energy, you don't do none of that shit. You're just in your head, in non-action, you know, embodying the energies that you would like to become. So you began to embody this energy of wanting more stability, Wanted to receive more, all right? Because you put in a lot of work here, right? With the Eight of Swords, mentally, you, in your head, though, non-action, one and more being guarded. So you decided to take action, the Fool card and the Devil card. Take action on these things that you were obsessing over. And I feel like what you were obsessing over was like... A new chance at life, like to get out of this same old, because I feel like wherever you were coming from, you felt misunderstood. You felt limited in many ways. In the next 48 hours, some type of judgment is going to take place. Now, these are three major arcana here. So this is something that is going to be very significant in your life, Gemini. Okay. A very significant change is going to take place. And I feel like you are being blessed. I see angels and demons here. All right. The demons could have been the fact that you felt limited in many ways and you're choosing to move forward, right? And there is a judgment that's being placed upon you that you are protected, okay? If you've been praying to the Most High, know that your prayers will be answered. King of Coins. See, this is the masculine aspect of you. You will attain that which you go out and seek, Okay, I don't want to say it like we in the Lord of the Rings, but at the same time, I feel like this is a journey for you. It's something that you're unsure about before you get ready to take that journey, to take that leap. But I see it going very well in your favor. With the Eight of Wands here, I see a message coming in for you. Some type of opportunity is coming in for you. Yeah, and it comes out, literally. So a message comes in quick as fuck at that. It's like the moment your energy shifts, this whole situation begins to shift. Look, 
and currently you're moving forward. If you are currently seeing movement or you in a car or something and you're, I feel like for a lot of you, I was like, well, shit, I just got in the car. I'm actually about to start this journey, whatever it looks like for you. You know, if that's traveling, moving locations, if that's going to go pursue someone that you're interested in, if it's going to a job interview, I see you currently in motion with this chariot car coming out sideways. I feel like some type of message comes in and now it's time to go get the prize, see? But look, despite you being in your head, you're moving forward. So, Gemini, you're never really fully secure in this decision. That's what I'm seeing with the Seven of Cups. You still got this energy of, like, I don't trust it with the Emperor card here. Masculine energies. That's what I'm saying. With the Seven of Cups and the Emperor here, you're really trying to take charge of any illusion. So, it's like an energy of you really studying things even as you're moving through it. All right? But I see some sense of control. Whatever you resist persists. Know that that is something that stands out when you are taking action on your manifestations, okay? And what that really means is, is if you're going forward here, leave that which does not serve you. You're going to have to fully be all in or not at all, okay? Don't be doubting the shit that you're currently doing, okay? Don't doubt it. Think through it first. And then go all in or don't go at all. Because it's going to create some type of friction here. See, with the Ten of Wands here, it's creating more burden for you. And maybe it may even show up as a lesson because that's what you're showing the universe. That's what you're showing the divine. What energies are you putting out? That is the language that the universe understands when you're manifesting. Your actions could be moving forward, but what is your energy internally? Because as above, so below, as within, so without. So let's delve deeper. Next 48, there's that decision, though. To a wise energy. So you make the decision to go ahead anyway. All right? With the hero fine here, lessons are learned, though. So you do learn lessons here. So I don't see you necessarily repeating in a cycle, okay? We can't say that much with the Six of Wands here being recognized for that. So the divine and the universe, um, Allah, you know, I don't know your spiritual background, okay? But the divine sees you and recognizes these lessons as being learned. So your actions get you in this king of pentacles energy you're already in the queen of pentacles energy right and your feminine aspect and you've attracted this abundance in you've attracted an opportunity to come out of the limitations right that you felt like you were bound to here we have five of wands confrontation though is there challenges are still there and we see that here with the eight of swords and they're mental but you're being driven by passions. Your passions are so strong here to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. Like I said, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a move, whether it's, you know, love, finances, whatever, right? Aspirations. It's your journey that you're embarking on. It's something new for you. With the nine of wands here, you will persevere through it. You will get through this, okay? But it's going to be a little challenging. Your last final challenge before you get this wish granted is to come out of your own way, mentally. The bottom deck, four coins. Until you can let go of that block fully, you may not receive the totality of your abundance. Because can you say how much to the universe that you want? In a way, you really are in the next 48 hours. By that limited thinking there, that limitation, that hesitation, it puts a cap on the universe's potential blessings for you. When you allow the probability for this manifestation to take place, it's you literally allowing a miracle to take place. That's why we see Archangel Michael there. That's why we see the Hierophant here. 
Okay. That's why we see the devil here and you literally taking a leap of faith in the next 48 hours. But I'm going to tell you, like I told you before, Gemini, all or nothing. Okay. Here we have a 10 of cups, all or nothing. Here is a promise right here. Rainbows are significant of promises. The promise is that you will be fulfilled. 10 cups. This isn't something that is going to be quickly fulfilled and then it goes away. With the Queen of Wands here, it is very symbolic of a creative individual that doesn't necessarily think inside the box, that doesn't always go by the book, but that also allows another probability for a miracle to happen. Like, I see this wild side of you that is wildly passionate, okay? And it allows the possibility of magical things to happen. And with the three of coins here, it talks about collaborations. And I feel like your collaborations are with the universe. See? There is the Queen of Pentacles again. Your feminine energy is so wild, but yet stable in many ways. You can't put a cap on that. It's like a gift. It's almost like the divine is saying, well, if you can surrender all the way, then I'll let you have whatever it is you're asking for. But are you able to do this, Gemini? Are you able to trust are you able to ask for what it is that you want, knowing that the universe will exceed all your expectations, that the divine will do so? Look, or are you going to remain in this energy of feeling like you are abandoned? Like the divine, in the Bible it say, like I said, I don't know your spirituality or your religion, but in the Bible it say, ask and you shall receive. So why do you feel that that doesn't apply to you? Stop judging yourself. See, look, nine of pentacles. A message comes in like, no, why Why are you thinking you're going to receive less when you're actually going to receive more? Nine of pentacles is already somebody that's independent. You know, you're feeling like you could be out in the cold, like you could feel abandoned, but you, you're not because you're, you're independent. You don't need nobody. So you can provide shelter or whatever the fuck you need, right? But you got to ask and you will receive. You got to know that the divine will give you everything that you want and even more. So it's nine pinnacles right here, but there is more to come. There is a legacy that you will leave. And I feel like this legacy is more than just a legacy. It's a lesson. It's a lesson that you have learned from the past. And it's personal now. You know, this is something that you pass down to your children, right? About how to overcome toxicities, how to overcome limitations, Gemini, this is a deep read. Here is the child, right? This is your legacy. And it's how to overcome toxicities and move towards happiness. And it's like a key, right? This is like a key that unlocks many doors. See what I mean? By the divine gives you more than what you ask for. But you got to delve all the way in and know that you will be taken care of. There it is, the hermit. You're going to discover this moving forward in the next 48 hours. You're going to learn something, Gemini. Something that damn near can't be taught. You're going to learn it because you're going to go with the end. You're going to see the results first and forehand with the world card here. Something that was fixed. You thought it was fixed, set in stone. But more information was given to you. In fact, a key was given to you. You didn't trust it at first. You was getting ready to not trust it. Because what happens? Sometimes we don't trust what we can't see, what we can't understand. It's like a path that's darkened. But as you, with that flashlight, as you're the hermit, going down just a little bit further, getting that star out, going within, right? As above, so below. As within, so without. This hermit is getting a star from the universe, from the galaxy from the divine that was provided to him. 
him, meaning a masculine energy. See, we're still talking about the actions that you perform, Gemini, to get to where you will be. This ain't no game, especially if you're going to come here and you're going to have me give you a message. I'm not going to play with you. So like I said, you ask and you will be provided for. The divine even placed those stars there for when you get ready to go on a journey. It's already laid out for you. And what you discover is that things are a lot more broader than even the limitations that you placed upon them. The rabbit hole was a lot more deeper. That's what you come to realize, Gemini. And here's that Empress energy once again. That feminine energy. We saw the Emperor already. This is talking about the masculine and feminine aspects within you, Gemini. And it's like you see this. It's damn near like you see the face of God. Because you're beginning to see the inner workings of how things work. And you're beginning to apply those methods to your life. It's like, I could get you a fish all day. But if I teach you how to fish. And this is something, like I said, that can't be taught. Many don't know these things. They don't learn it. Because either the choices that they make in life don't allow them to see this. So see it as a blessing. That's what I'm saying. All the strife, all the challenges that you face, they mold you to receive what is rightfully yours. Okay, ten of swords. Feeling like you're walking into the darkness. Feeling like you're walking into a setup and you rightfully could. But here go the queen of wands. You're resilient. There is that twist of fate, right? When I'm like, you're not really that conventional, but it opens up way for a miracle, right? And there is that miracle despite anything that comes your way. There's the devil card. That's why you're so strong, Gemini. Because regardless of what tempts you, regardless of what comes your way, you remain in this energy, right? Well, hell or high water, I'm going to still receive what it is that I want to rightfully receive in my reality. There it is. Challenges. Obstacles. <coughs> Excuse me. It's damn near like somebody don't want me to say this. Speaking this life upon you. Look, all of these are symbolic of someone that is not settling. <coughs> Excuse me, Gemini. Whatever is being trying to weigh on your emotions and being pulled away from you. See, this is eight cups right here. Eight cups. And then this is four cups. That's 12. One plus two, if we're going to delve into numerology real quick, is three. I feel like out of this scenario, you get this three of cups situation where you learn. We're talking about keys here. You learn how to unlock a new door and this key that presents itself it allows you to unlock doors that involve third parties third parties could be anything right anything that comes your way we're talking about limitations here gemini anything that comes your way now you got a secret weapon now you got this key that can unlock any fucking thing with the queen of swords look at you put in that crown on why because it's telling me that you're the fool on a fool's journey gemini and that in order to get to this empress you got to embody all the queens now we've seen the queen of pentacles we've seen the queen of swords and we've seen the queen of wands you got the wit you got the ability to cut out any bs sort through it and see clearly for what it is right 
in your feminine energy. This is why you're embodying the empress. And you have the ability to nourish anything back to life, back to health. So it's like you can rejuvenate yourself over and over again to attain this legacy. And to not only attain it, but to solidify it. And there we have that judgment. This judgment is placed upon how to keep order in your life. In the next 48 hours, that is what you will attain, Gemini. The bottom deck is the Ace of Swords. Spirit is saying that this is the truth. But it's the truth that being that is being revealed to you. All right? That clarity that is coming to you of how to apply this knowledge, right? When you are feeling unbalanced in your emotions and whatever, you can charge forward, right? And speak upon this and speak life into any scenario that you are going through. This is the act of manifestation. And here it comes a tower. But that tower is like a miracle. There's the three of cups we talked about. I know y'all thought I was crazy. Like this bitch added numbers. Yeah, three of cups. Anything that comes your way, you're able to shift it, right? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about keys. Keys to avoid things that we don't want in our lives, right? No matter how bad it is, no matter how limited it places us or, or make us feel, we don't have to accept that reality. And that's what you're learning in the next 48 hours. Gemini, let's delve into your finances, please, and thank you. Your car is popping right out. Bond and deck. I damn near couldn't even get it out. Angelic help. I'm not going to lie to you when you come here. The angels are really blessing you. Archangel Michael is really heavy in your read today, okay? It says, this is a time to trust in the universe. I, I was trying to tell you, but we, we can read it off the card. And no, you will be provided for, okay? The universe is going to provide for you. Ask and you shall receive, okay? Um, there is a career or a blessing that's lining up for you. So stay positive and believe. Pay attention to the signs your angels send you during this time, okay? They say a part of the deck because success will find you. You see how thick this deck is. Know that success is going to find you, Gemini, hell or high water. Know that justice will be yours, okay? Something in your life needs to be brought in alignment, okay? There could be a career, of course, in law and police, military, courts, criminal justice, okay? But it says be sure to be honest and ethical in money matters or you will face the consequences, so just be ethical when it comes to your money matters, okay? You already have angelic help. You are somebody that's meant to be very independent, okay? It's not, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's not self-employed, it may be, like, if you're not self-employed, it may be time to move towards that entrepreneurship role, okay? Considering investing and committing yourself to your own business, okay? So if you have a business endeavors, because we did see that emperor there, okay? That is an entrepreneur, okay? That is very successful, all right? I see you being a very balanced energy, okay? Really attracting opportunities in and then knowing how to act on them, all right? Your financial freedom will come from being able to stand alone. You can do it, okay? There is that leadership role that you're definitely going to be stepping into. It says it's time to step up and step into that leadership role in your life, okay? You can expect to exceed in any leadership positions, all right? Your finances will greatly improve what you accept and step into your power, okay? Lastly, we have the helper. Avoid being too giving of yourself, okay? While neglecting your own needs, all right? So remember to put yourself first. Although you will be placed in this leadership role, you're going to need to nurture yourself. Remember, going back to the queens that we saw come out in the deck, right? Nur learning how to nurture yourself. The empress can always be nurturing, providing. It's like, you know, people flock to you because you're independent. You have this leadership quality to you and you're blessed by the heavens, right? But people could try to come up off that, okay? You have to learn how to protect yourself, 
always first and foremost um you can consider jobs and customer service okay or any field that allows you to help others or care for others okay and then it says don't ask like don't be afraid to ask for help or accepting help if someone is willing to give you a hand okay and that could be in anything you know you're stepping into this leadership role you are very independent you could be trying to control everything if somebody tries to step in if this angelic help tries to step in and send somebody your way that can lighten your load gemini allow that don't be over here like no nah, i don't need no help i don't want no help okay be able to allow others to help you. Don't always be the one that has to give, okay? Trust that people that are coming towards you, um, <clears throat> well, I can't say trust wholeheartedly because you need to be protective of your energy, but trust that the people that the universe sends to you are there to help you, okay? Know that you have angelic help, okay? Don't be out here skeptical of every damn thing. Let somebody help you, Gemini. <laughs> Your advice moving forward is how can I, um, how can this be wonderful? Win, win, win. This is talking about a win and win outcome. Okay. Don't step in your own way. Okay. Your greatest joy pollinates the world because when you're in your power, Gemini, you can, you illuminate so many people. Like you help so many people, right? Pollinating the world. This is an energy like when you're happy. Everybody is happy around you, Gemini. Okay, you're like somebody that is meant to step up into this leadership role and allow things to become easier. This allows things to become easier for everybody when you step up into this leadership role. Okay, and allow others to help you as well. Bloom where you are planted. Okay, where you're receiving is love, Gemini, and support and it's it talks about excuse me it talks about really enhancing the lives of others around you but it's like you don't have to go out of your way to do this you just have to be yourself and as long as you are tending to all your needs as long as you're not overworking and you're remaining balanced others will definitely benefit from this just from you being yourself Bottom deck is I'm a galactic star seed blooming because this is your job. Your job is to wake up the world because you're a galactic star seed. So not only do you have angelic help, you have the blessings from the divine. Okay. Deliver your greatest gift to the world. I can't make it up. Lastly, your words create worlds. So choose your words wisely. In the next 48 hours, Gemini, I see you taking a leap of faith. And this leap of faith, it places you in direct abundance, in direct leadership roles, and it makes you very independent. But the thing about it is, is that you're going to have to step out of your own way. You're going to have to step out of your own head. But don't lose the lessons that you've attained along the way, because nothing is ever taken in vain, okay? These very challenges prepare you for what's to come in your future. They open up doors to many opportunities and many ways to overcome any challenges that may be presented to you through third party means. Okay. I see your finances being fully and directly um, affected by this independent leap into leadership. Okay, know that you will be provided for continuously. Know that the angels and the divine um, are with you during this journey and know that this is exactly where you need to be. So if this mess message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Till then, peace and love.